Okay, so we're gonna do a little clap to start this off. Well, we're gonna. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just let you do it. It's off to a great start. <laughs> wow. Hi. Hi. Here we are. Here we are. We are. Uh, we're actually gonna be writing each other checks today. Mm -hmm. I owe you some money. You owe me some money. Correct. Uh, now, I owe you some money uh, because we did do a theatrical screening in Portland at the Living Room Theatre. Mm. We sold it out. Uh, so, we four-walled that. We paid for the cost of it. There were some marketing costs. Those are being paid for. Now, we get paid. Cool. So, I'm going to pay you for that. Yay! I like money. Okay. So, while I'm writing this, why don't you explain uh, what, what, what am I getting a check for? Because you're writing me a check, too. Right. So, I am writing you a check today because we released a clip together on Clips for Sale. And it was a very special clip. It was the extended version of our cuckolding video that is featured in our movie, oh. Use Me. So uh, for people who have seen it, uh, there's a part in the movie where we start kissing and it gets a little hot and uh, yeah, you have to see it to really see what happens. Um, but we decided to take some uncut footage, put it together, make it into a clip as a little bit of a meta sort of marketing thing, and sell it on Clips for Sale. And it did really well. It was the um, top selling clip for like a week or something. That's amazing. Yeah, it brought my studio up to number one. Look, I'm here for you. I mean, I'm Pretty just, you exciting know. stuff. So the deal was we would split the profits 50-50, so that is what I am writing you a check for today. Okay, I'm excited. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's give each other our checks. All right. Whew. Oh, this is exciting. I like getting paid. Okay, All I'll right. show you mine if you show me yours. <laughs> Should we fold them and then give yeah, them to each yeah. other? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here we go. All right. All right. Ready? Yes. Wow. Oh my God. Yeah. Wow, indeed. <laughs> You look a lot happier than I do. I didn't even know they gave money in increments this small before. <laughs> <laughs> look how happy you are. What are you going to spend on? I'm happy. You know, I mean, this is actually kind of a life-changing amount for me. You really? Know? Yeah, well, a little bit. I mean, I'm going to be, you know, moving, uh, i got to move out. I'm moving to another apartment, so that's going to help gonna do help the math that. here. This is, this is 115 times more than this. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It is 115 times more. So, let's see. Let's, let's think about the work involved. So, yes. the movie, Use Me, mm -hmm. took, like... Seven ish years. Yeah. I mean, we the first couple of years we were kind of casually like shooting here and there. It wasn't that extensive, but the real work started maybe what five years ago. But the average length of time for making a independent feature film mm -hmm. by Australian statistics, I'm an Australian citizen, so let's mm -hmm. go with that, is seven years. Yeah. From sort of writing the script right, this to is it normal. being released. That's standard. Yeah. Seven years. Okay. So on one hand, you got Use Me, which is seven years. Right. Okay, now how long did it take to shoot everything for our. At all film clip. So we just spent an afternoon shooting yeah. that. Yeah, so it was a half day shoot. Yeah, half day. Okay, so seven years versus half a day. And, you know, maybe some editing time. So maybe like a full day. We can round up. Maybe yeah. not even that much, but just to be generous, we'll say it took a day of work. Because there was editing and making the GIF and all that. Yeah, okay, so it was about a day. Yeah. Okay, let's just take a standard independent film budget. Okay? okay. So we're going to call it film X. Okay. Otherwise, if I give the exact details, my producer might not be happy about it. <laughs> right. But we can get a ballpark. Okay. So let's say, you know, a standard, you know, low budget or micro budget feature film is about half a million bucks. Okay. Right. So it takes about seven years to make. But let's say that as the writer director, I might end up with 10% of the budget. Okay. Okay, so let's say that I got $50,000, call it 25 grand for directing it, maybe about 25 grand for writing it. Okay. okay. Now that's over seven years, mind you. Yeah, that's not much. Okay, so let's just divide that. Roughly, I'll round up to uh, $7,200 a year. So I'm making 7200 a year on independent movie X. Mm. So we weren't working full time on this for seven years. I would say I did probably three years full time. Yeah, so what, 40 hours a week? 
or more. Yeah, I'd say 40 hours a week for so, sure. Yeah. yeah. So full-time work for three years. 16,700. And people might wonder, how is it you work that hard? Well, you got to remember, if you wrote and directed the thing, I mean, that's a lot of script writing time. Yes. You know, just getting the financing, I mean, that can be a full-time job mm -hmm. in itself just to get the money. Whereas even a cheap micro-budget film is still half a million bucks. That's not exactly chump change. Right. And then as the director, you're involved in every single aspect of it. I mean, there is nothing that you do not touch. Mm -hmm. So you're in pre, you're in production, obviously. Then you're in every aspect of post. Then you're marketing the film. You're not getting paid for it. You're creating social media stuff. You're creating mm -hmm. gifts. You're, you know, you do everything mm -hmm. pretty much at this budget level. Mm -hmm. So let's compare it to Payday for an adult film clip. Now, did this adult film clip do pretty well? Yeah, it did great. I mean, like I said, it was number one, so it did excellent. So this clip is actually a bit of an outlier. Yes. This is not a standard clip. No, 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 not at all. Okay. Yeah. What do you think made this clip so profitable? Um, one customer in particular, one client in particular, um, that I instructed to um, pay for the clip every day at a premium price. Got it. Yeah. So that really ballooned up mm -hmm. the profitability because this guy had a financial domination fetish. Correct. Okay, so he's he's boosting it. With that said, there's still I saw the numbers of how many people bought it. It was still yeah. purchased by a lot of people. For sure. Um, but you know, this is not something that I would be able to rely on. You know what I mean? To get right. those kind of numbers. Yeah, this is an unusual circumstance. Yeah. I guess I am a novice adult film star. This will mm -hmm. most likely be the only clip I ever do. Mm -hmm. Okay. And wah, I, wah. <laughs> are you sad about it? I think all your, um, your gay fans are pretty sad about it. I have some straight fans too. Do you? Girls like you? I haven't met them yet. But <laughs> it's okay. I love my gay fans very yeah. much. Do Just you think you have more gay you. fans or straight female fans? Um, I have a lot more gay male fans. Yeah. Yeah, it's much more. Yeah, and I looked at some analytics recently on a post, and it was sort of like, it was, it was about like 90% male. Nice. So there you go. That's awesome. Clearly, you did me a solid with this one. Mm -hmm. I mean, we did it to kind of market the movie and be creative, do something with a bit of buzz, and thankfully it achieved that yeah. and made us a nice little check in the process. But there would be nothing without you. Mm -hmm. I mean, my 50% cut is actually extremely generous. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm a prop in the video. The people that are buying it mm -hmm. are yours. I know a couple of my fans did end up buying it because they saw it on Facebook. Yeah. But let's be honest, I mean, 95% of it are your existing audience, mm -hmm. I'd say, and maybe 5% are people who... Yeah, but also a lot of it came from the movie itself, too. Like, it was exciting because it was part of the movie. That is true, you know? So what happened was this thing got blown sky high and mm -hmm. became super profitable because of your one client who bought it a lot. Yeah. But it also did seem to have a bit of a must-see factor because of the Use Me tie-in. Right. So that's where all the marketing in traditional media that was going on with Use Me and the fact that you could watch it on Amazon Prime or buy it on Blu-ray from mm -hmm. Target, that somehow gave our clip some right. kind of elevation. Yeah, and that was all you, so, because you did a majority of the movie. Right, so that's kind of the value of Use Me actually paying off here. Mm -hmm. But isn't it yeah, funny that, you know, I mean, the amount of money this clip made is what some independent movies make, period. Yeah. Ooh, I'm so sorry to be a tease, but that is the end of part one. Subscribe right now so you don't miss part two. We're going to talk about whether I'm going to end up going into adult films and is Sierra going to try and go into Hollywood and basically what the future holds. See you next week.